And now to day two of the Democratic National Convention. Tonight's program includes remarks from two former U.S. presidents. They will make their case on why the Biden-Harris ticket is best for the country. CBS 4's Natalie Brand joins us live from the nation's capital. Natalie. Carly Elliott, the list of speakers tonight on this night too really showcases the party's past, the old guard and the next generation. As you mentioned, it includes two former presidents, Carter and Clinton, and it also features some new party rising stars. And that list includes Florida's commissioner of agriculture, Nikki Freed. Night two of the Democratic National Convention will focus on leadership and the party's past and future. Like Progressive New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and former Secretary of State John Kerry are among those delivering remarks. Donald Trump is just not equipped, not capable of doing what we need to do in the world today. Former President Bill Clinton is also a featured speaker. CBS News has learned he's expected to issue his sharpest rebuke yet of President Trump. And Joe Biden's wife, Dr. Jill Biden, will deliver remarks from a school in Wilmington, Delaware, where she taught. What Jill is best at helping me do is figure out who the people around me would be most compatible with me. Instead of the convention's traditional roll call of states to officially nominate Joe Biden, this year it will happen virtually with a speaker from each state and territory. Something happened in here. Similar to Monday night, night two will feature a mix of musical performances and pre-taped speeches. Former First Lady Michelle Obama closed night a one with a sharp criticism of President Trump. Donald Trump is the wrong president for our country. He has had more than enough time to prove that he can do the job, but he is clearly in over his head. President Trump called the former First Lady's remarks divisive ahead of his campaign visit to the battleground state of Arizona. She was over her head, and frankly, she should have made the speech live. One of tonight's program highlights will be a keynote address from more than a dozen Democratic rising stars, including former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams. Now, during this virtual roll call of the states, Florida's featured speaker will be gun safety advocate Fred Guttenberg, who lost his daughter in the Parkland shooting massacre. He said on Twitter today he will talk about Biden's compassion and his commitment to defeating the NRA. We also learned from the Biden campaign today that the former vice president gave remarks to Florida's delegation and also talked about the campaign ahead. The state, of course, a critical battleground for both parties. I'll send it back to you.